now that vaccines are available to kids ages 5 to 11, a lot of parents are deciding what do they want to do? Well, Matthew McConaughey is weighing in saying his three kids are not vaccinated and that he's against mandating the vaccine for children. Here's what he told the New York Times. He just said we can vaccinate kids. Right now, I'm not vaccinated mine, I'll tell you that. I still want to find out. I still want to find out more information. I'm considering it myself, and I think Matthew McConaughey is a father, and having consideration for your children and their well-being is a good question to have. My kids, his kids are a little bit older, 13, 11, and 8, eight something like that. Mine are 3 and 5, and we're talking about this in my household right now. We're going away for the holidays. Should we get our kids vaccinated? Lawson, who is 5, just is eligible last month. We're having this conversation. And to another caveat to this, we just took him last week to go get shots because he had to finish up some of his shots. He flipped out, was terrified, hit under the chair. It was a whole thing. Very embarrassing. I'm sure every parent kind of goes through that a little yeah. bit. The last thing I want to do is get him another shot. I'm not saying I'm not getting him a shot, but by saying that, Matthew McConaughey, you're put into a category with Joe Rogan. You are Aaron Rodgers now. Me saying that I'm thinking about it, just having a question, and I'm not even talking about the vaccine. I'm talking about the day and age we are right now. If you question anything and you're not 100% on board with what the other side's feeling, you are labeled and thrown into that category, and it's very harmful and hurtful, and especially if you don't have kids and you're judging me. My kids are three and five, barely, barely eligible. I promise you there is a message on this board right now calling me a trumper or an anti-vaxxer i promise but you did he, and that's a scary place to be in america and i completely agree with you but can i ask i didn't hear him ask a question matthew mcconaughey declared he's not doing it and that's against cdc no he said i'll consider it he said right now they're not getting vaccinated even though the mandate for the children 5 to 11 from the fda cdc and scientists and doctors is to do so to your point, you're jumping on him, right, for not getting vaccinated, not listening no. to the mandate or the CDC. I'm simply when saying, as a parent, l let me finish this. Okay. As a parent, you do not have kids, and I'm not shaming you. I'm not telling you anything like that. Your mind goes to a different place when you have kids, okay? And they're not pets. They're not fur babies. They're children that you have to raise, and any misstep that you take could affect their life or alter their life. I think about this every day. I take parenting very seriously, okay? I want the best for my kids. Again, I'm vaccinated. To Sam's point, my wife is vaccinated. We are, but to question anything in society these days, automatically you are put into this category and put on the other side and labeled. That's why these labels are so effective in the way we're running this world. They're running companies. They're running major organizations. They're taking over the media. We got to get rid of these labels and to jump on somebody like Matthew McConaughey, in this case is just an example, I don't think without we watching the on. full interview. We can't glob him on to the Joe Rogans, in my opinion. I agree, but at the same time, he's questioning something, which but is fair to children. do. Hold on. I agree with you. And again, I don't have kids and I openly admit that and I get it, but he's questioning science. And to me, that's not a personal choice. Your kids got a shot from polio, diphtheria, all of that, right. because it's required. This is so similar. The CDC and the FDA are saying that. So for someone on his platform, like you said, to say, I, I need to give it more thought. You're not a doctor. I don't You're know not if a he's scientist. questioning science, though. I, I agree. You know how strongly I yeah. am about this vaccine. I'm pro-vaccine, pro-COVID vaccine for kids, for everybody. I don't know if he's questioning the science. I he think said it, that. He was I like, I need more that, information. Why? Right. You're not a doctor. But maybe he, he wants to review it himself. Maybe he's the type of person that he wants to look at the data, go to his own personal doctor. Maybe he said that in the interview. I don't remember him saying he said, that. I, he was like, changed my mind in the last two years about a lot of things. He said that. We just played it. But the thing that we're moving towards, and I'm talking more about society, I hear is you. that if you don't agree 100%, Sam, and you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to take a breath and do take my time and do my research and educate myself on this. There is no time to do that. You make a decision right now. You're 100% with us or you are against us. That's because us. in my mind, two plus two is four. No, and this, that's, let you're me finish. wrong. Let me finish. And he's saying, I want more information. Two plus two might be five. To me, that's not a personal because choice. You're, that's science. That's a hard fact. And science has never been wrong, ever? I'm simply saying after the FDA and the CDC say it's okay, we had vaccinations that are mandated over and over and over again. It works. They eradicated smallpox. And I'm with, Why are listen, we needing more you. information from this We got to go. I'm with you.